Okay, well, welcome back. Give thanks. We're here again with Honorable Priest Tassetti, and uh, he's enlightening us on, continuing to enlighten us on uh, the roots of really not only his personal history, but also the roots of Nayabingi. So you were, well, I think when we were cut off, you were talking about, um, the elders were talking about Prince Emmanuel had a Poco church. Yes, he come out of the Poco tradition. And he, um, because you see, if you were, if you, if you, if you as a youth in Jamaica came up in the church during the time when Haile Selassie got crowned, you would see that you would you would trend to become more like a um a twelve tribe. If you are a youth that grew up in a country around the Kumina, you would tend to be with the Bingi. Mm. The Kumina is what fed is what taught the Bingi. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They Rasta won't tell you about that thing yet because they actually, they they still have that bipolar problem of, 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 of being ashamed of their Africans because of that the, the, the voodoo of the, of the Bible mm -hmm. you know what I mean mm -hmm. they, they have not yeah they're not reached a level where they can disconnect from the Bible and still read it as a literature mm -hmm. and take what's good out of it mm -hmm. passion, them passion them actually believe it to be their manual mm -hmm. <laughs> reality know I mean? and their history and everything yeah yeah so anything that's that's not in the Bible. Them see that Balaam, even though that's what made them. The very thing they're cursing is what they're doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bingi is coming now. Mm -hmm. It's even more coming now. Kaya set fire. Coming, mm -hmm. I only talk about the fire. Mm -hmm. But the coming people normally don't set no fire. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Why that? Well, no, the, 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 it's like a, it's a cleansing, you know, and it's a purging. But because there's spirits in the Kumina, in a sense, spirits meaning the white rum. The white rum now will make your, will make the, will make you make, of course, will make you um, destabilize your spirit and make you more um, not in control of your your temple. So that's how with the music. And with the drumming, them can get possessed. What them think is possessed, but it's really the fact that they don't have control of themselves. Mm -hmm. And they don't know how to deal with these ancestors. Because I'm, I've grown up in that environment. Remember, the village I grew up, all of my grandparents, all of my grand uncles, all of them buried in the backyard. All of them are buried in the backyard. I've never seen any of them. Mm -hmm. But all my cousins who do look home and I drink the drink the white rum. They're seeing them. And they're scared to death. Or they you know, some of them are not. Some of them are able to cope with it and and and, and take them in. You understand? So so you know I, I learned that dichotomy. Mm -hmm. You know of of, of the of, of how to make sure you maintain your 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 your, your consciousness. Mm -hmm. That's why I even stopped smoking weed. I, I want to always be aware of my enemy or my friend. I, I always be aware, always mm -hmm. be, in, be in control mm -hmm. of, of yourself. Because any, any, any vibration, any negative or positive can take you away mm -hmm. and, and, and take control of your, 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 your the God in you. Mm -hmm. So then, so I learned all of that. And the rest of them teach me, the rest of them used to come at the Kumina too. And they want to learn from the drama then. Mm -hmm. And then Kumina drama they bad. They can't play Mm -hmm. They have no faster man to come and stay in the back up on the hill and I watch mm -hmm. or them play that like kid or them play the drum, you know. <laughs> yeah, and I listen. So that was also great too, you know, as musicians, you know. Yeah. Because they knew a lot of these bridges too, because they, you know, we all grew up together and all that stuff. So they were very respectful of them, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And they respectful of the Rastaman them too. We take it to another level, to another height. With all the Ocus Pocus in them. So, as I said, the fire was also in the Kumina as well, but then they, they didn't want the fire because they were afraid that if, if, if one of the spirits took it, they would throw you in the fire because of the alcohol. Mm -hmm. The Bingi them could have the fire because they were in control of themselves. Mm -hmm. You understand? It was controlled, you know what I mean? So, that was also that. And 
the kumina now was something that was used during during when someone passed away, and that was because of slavery. During slavery, that ceremony before slavery, that ceremony was used when a baby was born, when someone was getting married, was used. So it was a it was part of your spirituality. Mm -hmm. It wasn't there was no. But during slavery, the only time the white man let you play the drum in Jamaica was when someone, when one of your ancestors died. <laughs> they allow you for not the drum that time. Just for, you know, prevent any type of disruption or mm. so they can just relieve themselves of that and then come back to work, come back mm. to slave. Mm. But that was the only time. So it became a, a, a tradition that you only used it. A lot of our tradition got, got warped negatively yeah. just yeah. like voodoo in haiti because of slavery yeah, yeah. you understand mm -hmm. the the haitians only dealt with the the, the deities that of, of the of the grave mm -hmm. Sopano. like oh but yeah mm -hmm. you know because of slavery because they so the africans in haiti thought that they did something wrong mm -hmm. you know slavery was a debt it was a debt experience Mm -hmm. So the only deities they could call on was a dead one. There was so much debt going on during slavery. Hmm. So you only could have called upon, and then there was a lot of um infighting and people trying to, you know, make it better for themselves within that system. So it was a lot of mistrust. So you would call upon Papa Legba to try and protect you and guide you. And 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 show you who's who's gonna tell the master about you, mm -hmm. and try and try send you out on the field to a more worse a plantation or some. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it created a culture of fear. It's a culture of fear. Mm -hmm. It created, and the kumina also was something that also created the culture of fear. Mm -hmm. So you find that bipolar guy. Because when you go into a poker church, you'll see the red, gold, and green. Mm -hmm. You hear them talk about Ethiopia. They sing songs about Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. But the deity was Christ. Mm -hmm. You would, yeah. but then you would then at five minutes later you hear them say, God saved the king of Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. and like, Where did that come from? You understand? <laughs> but so you had that bipolar. And then you say, How you guys know about yeah man? When when Marcus tell me about Selassie, what are we start trying to Selassie? So even those Christianized African spiritual temples started chanting Selassie in their own way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the Poco would chant Selassie. The the Kumina people would chant Selassie. Mm -hmm. But they used to have a because whenever someone passed away, like say if 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 if, if I pass away, they would say Tierkasa Jaralyad, Tierkasa Jaralyad. Mm -hmm. yeah, boom, 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 the drumming would be going on. Mm -hmm. You would go to a kumina, and if them see the rasta man, them come and I watch. You see them start sing. Take care, sir, slashy yard. Take care, sir, slashy yard. And they say, whoa. And they said, man, yeah, we are seeing that sign there from 1930. And you see the older one, them come. We are seeing that sign there from 1930 when the emperor was was crowned. Mm -hmm. And that's in the kumina, you know. Mm -hmm. So you see that revival of that African spirituality of, of, of worshiping God through their ancestors and through their monarch. Mm -hmm. When Marcus Gavi ignite that and say, look, look to Ethiopia instead of England. Every single institution, spiritual institution in Jamaica did their part in establishing that. Mm -hmm. The Rasta man went further with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because them kind of Lego Jesus and just put the title of Jesus on his majesty. Mm -hmm. You know, I went further with that. But the Rastaman could not be who they are without the Kumina, without the Poko. True. Yes, I. But it's, you know, why do you think one's own, you touched on it briefly, why do you think one's don't really illuminate that history and really bring it to the forefront? Because of the bipolarism. Mm hmm. And when you say bipolarism, yeah. you're talking like, like a double consciousness type Spiritual. Thing. Yeah, yeah, double consciousness because mm. it, whether you like it or not, they're seeing Selassie through the Bible. 
You understand? So they're still trying to be approved by Christian though. So anything they do, they need to justify it in the Bible. Mm -hmm. So when they, instead of giving credit to the Kumina people, they'll give credit to whatever they see in Ethiopia. Not knowing that them same Ethiopian learned the drum from the Kumina people, I mean, the, <laughs> the tribes, I mean, within the highlands of Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And they adopted that and they brought that to the to the Christian church after they were converted. So Ethiopia is the is 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 the oldest Christian church in Africa. And what does that mean in my in my in my education? That means that they're the oldest colonized country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Without a gun, they were colonized. Yeah. Because they took their king, their God king, and took him off the throne. Mm -hmm. And put Jesus on the throne. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the king now become the defender of Christ. Mm -hmm. That they invade the foreigner's God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When before that, each king was a reincarnation of God on earth. Yes, I. Each queen, Queen of Sheba, was seen as a sun goddess. Mm hmm. And that's why you see the Jews that oh she she was a pagan goddess of Ethiopia. Anything that's not Christian or Judeo Christian is pagan. Heathen. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you know you, you you find that all of us, whether Ethiopia, have went through the same thing. Ethiopia has been colonized, and it's even worse with Ethiopia. They've been colonized, don't even know they're colonized. The emperor, because of his travels, knew that. Mm -hmm. That's why he could have so much compassion and 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 courtesy to us mm -hmm. and understand it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Him just laughed and said, "Wait, this is what I grew up with. Wow, that's amazing." So you this mentioned Saint yeah. Thomas. Oh, sorry to cut you off, but you mentioned no, no, you're not Thomas. cutting me. Please do that because I, Lord, I have a Lord, tendency to. And um, it made me think. You know, recently I was doing some research and I come across an information saying that in St. Thomas in the 19th century, there was an importation of indentured servants from the Congo who live in St. Thomas, who brought uh, musical culture with them. Drums You're very aware. Them. You're very aware. You're talking about my cousins. They oh. come from a part of St. Thomas called Dalvi. That's the heart of Kumina. Mm -hmm. They're called the Bakongo people. Which means Ba means people, Congo. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. And Ba, you know, is the is ancient um, god, the short little god from ancient Egypt called Bas. Bas, yes, I. Yeah, yeah, the little pygmy man, little black pygmy man. Yeah. yeah. But they're the ones, they, the aristocratic ancient Egyptian pharaohs. Like when we turn to the east, they used to turn to the south and worship Bas. Mm -hmm. Because it is written on the Egyptian um, um, pyramid that is, is from the, 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 the mountain, the foot of the mountain of the moon, where your gods are come from. And the Twa people are the, are the, are the most ancient. The children of Amun-Ra. You know, so if they would turn and worship them. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. from that's where they came from, and they came up the Nile mm -hmm. from the south to the north. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. they call it the beautiful southwest, the beautiful west. They would turn to the beautiful west mm -hmm. and worship their, their ancestors and worship Bas, mm -hmm. you know, the ancient deity, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't a matter of, um, uh, uh, it was not a matter of um, saying, well, whoa, they have many different gods. No, it's God in every. It's God in everyone. He was just a, a, re, a reincarnation of God at that primordial time. Mm -hmm. You know, incarnation of God, you know, mm -hmm. of the children of, he was seen as a child of Ra. Of Ra. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And Ra was a child of Tehudi and Mahat. Yes, I. Yes, I. Mm. You know, they, they are the two aspects of the mind of God itself, which is the spirit. You know, the African, when you, you, the African never had a concept of who God is. They didn't, they never asked that question like Westerners do. Mm -hmm. Where, where did we come from? Who created God? Right. <laughs> the African always said, we are self-created. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we created all these planets. We created everything. And then we decided to make a, a, a vehicle, which is the body, so that we could enjoy our creation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we multiplied ourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there was no argument of who. We are God. We, God is us, you, mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. We, we self-created ourselves through thought. Mm -hmm. hmm. There it is. There it is. So hmm. there was no no argument of that, you know. You know, but because of the you know Europeans are totalitarian, so they have to use secrecy. So they hide, they hid all that knowledge, mm -hmm. and created fear, mm -hmm. and created a they 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 made sure the religion was was parallel to their to to their to their imperialism. So if you have an imperial leader, you have to have an imperial god who sits on high and the masses are, are his servants and, his, and sinners and, mm -hmm. you know, begging him for mercy, mm -hmm. just like the, 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 the king. So that's how European concept, that's how biblical concept is. Mm -hmm. African concept is not like that. Mm -hmm. You know, African mm -hmm. concept is not, not like that. You know, the, 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 everyone was, was God himself. Everyone was the, the supreme divinity reigned in all, everyone. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There was no, it's just like the concept where when the whites, they went to West Africa, they, they saw the king, the Shantini and said, why is it all you people have gold? You're, you're devaluing the gold. And the king would say, say, we mean devaluing the gold. They're my, they're my, they're my royal family. They're my brothers and sisters. They're the ones who made me king. Mm -hmm. They are me. I, the gold belongs to them. Mm -hmm. If I have it all in my house, they will come in and kill me for it. Mm -hmm. But they won't, there's no need for them to kill me for the gold because I, I, the gold, the gold is spread around everyone. Everyone has their equal share. Mm -hmm. You know, so, you know, that, that's, that's a difference between Europeans and Africans, you know, before we were colonized, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But back to the Poco, you know, after when Prince Emmanuel left the Poco church, he went to the army. Mm -hmm. Went to the JDF. He got that training. Mm -hmm. So when he when he started to when he rose up when he when he got inspired with the Rastafari movement while he was in JDF he left the JDF. You know, is that when he fell he, off the ladder? Yes. Um. Supposedly he he he, he got off the ladder. So there was two stories. One story that he was painting, and then he he he, he was called. You know, why are you? You know, why why are you not groomed? And he must have said, I'm a Rasta man. So they told him to get down off the ladder and they um, kicked him out of the military. He was, he was going to get court-martialed, supposedly. And he, and he left. He, he, le he just left. He ran off. He ran away from the military. You know, because it's not like you could just say, no, I don't want to trim my hair. You're going to get court-martialed. Mm -hmm. You're going to be in the barracks. Mm -hmm. So he basically went AWOL. From Up Camp Park was where he was. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the story about falling off the ladder and where did that come from? Um, a lot of a lot of stories are not even from Bobo Shanti. Some stories are just from people who who who, who because of you were so successful. It's like you had so many different theologians at the time. Trying to compete for the population's um, acceptance of Rasta, he became very successful. Mm -hmm. So, you, if you had a, a competitor who, who, who was not doing so well, it would make all kind of stories about you. Mm -hmm. You know that was not so um, flattering. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But say, for instance, if he did fall off the ladder, the fact remains he would have been court martial. He had to leave the military. He ran away from the military. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I see. You know, 
So tell me yeah. more about then the the Bakongo people now. This is um something that is and, 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 and yeah, I'm gonna tell you about the Bakongo, but I just want to say one thing. And that's mm -hmm. why you saw the discipline within the camp. You see, it would run more like a military camp. Yeah. If you look at the structure of the camp with the gatehouse, it's yeah. right, it's set up just like up park camp. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 my lord, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and that's why the military kind of want the land back because they knew it was an AWOL soldier that established that camp. Mm. Yeah, I did hear <laughs> that. I did hear they wanted it back. Now, what's the status of that? Um, I don't know. All I know is the uh, prime minister said he is taking a hundred acres of the hilltop, hundred acres of hilltop land in Warwicka Hill. Most likely that includes the camp. I hope not. Yeah. But even if it doesn't include a camp, if you're going to build a hundred acre army base, you're going to need a buffer. Yeah. yeah. Like a perimeter. Yeah. Where no one could go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But those things don't really frighten me because in 94, in December of 94, uh, Prince Emmanuel transcended in June, uh, in June of 94, but so in December of 93, his last words to us was, go and get to no passport, Jamaica done. Mm -hmm. Once me gone, me can't protect you know. mm -hmm. Jamaica finish. Mm -hmm. get, he would call, he was calling brethren's that he kicked out the camp. And they thought they were getting called to get a judgment again. He's like, Bridget, walk one. Are you, are you all right? Go get your passport. Get your passport. Get your passport. Get on home. Yeah. Get on son. Yeah. Because that was his mission, you know. His, his biggest pet peeve was that he was trying to drop his flesh in Africa. Mm-hmm. He wanted to see his son. He kept crying. I want to see Buna. I want to see Buna. I want to see Buna. Uh-huh. Abuna was already over in Ghana at that point. Yeah, he sent him there. Okay. But remember, the whole plan was that they were supposed to build a proper facility for him to come and stay there. But things never go the way oh, it was supposed to. I'm not even gonna get into that. Fact yeah. remains it never he didn't the man it never he didn't fulfill that in time mm -hmm. before his traveling. So when he knew he was he was traveling spiritually. Mm. He would tell them, look, I go see Buna, I go see Buna soon, you know. So the man said, what are you talking about? So that kind of got them nervous, you know. What are you go see Buna? You can't go see Buna uh, without no ticket for you. Don't worry about that, man. I go see Buna, I'll see the sun real soon. Mm -hmm. And then he would tell us, get, get our passport and meet him in Africa. So even the even when they 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 um buried his flesh, it buried his temple there. That should be buried in Africa. Yeah, truly. You say y'all look to the east where your God come from. I just say it should be there. Mm -hmm. His temple should be there. Mm -hmm. You know. So mm -hmm. all that you know, all that now fell fall into the whole Christian paradigm. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for Christ to raise again. And he would lead, and he would lead you on a trumpet of, 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 of angels, and you know the whole rapture thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Prince Emmanuel was very practical. Mm -hmm. He used to teach you reason why I got a, I, I got so um, interested and attracted to Bobo Shanti and his theology is that he was one of the only Rasta who tell you, say you're just as much God as Haile Selassie. Mm -hmm. The same God that in Celestia is in you, just that he was able to persevere and and and, and accomplish what he will mm -hmm. to become a, a king. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And the same God in me is in you. That's that that's very, very that's very, very humbling, you know. It mm -hmm. takes a lot for a man to give up that because what I'm saying is it's so tempting to be totalitarian with people who are so um um impressionable. And, and 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 so and and so and so desirous still to have a leader and a God. He could have took advantage of the situation. 
but he didn't. Yeah. He followed what he learned in, in, in Liberty Hall with Marcus Garvey and amongst the elder them. Because all of them used to reason that. Because mm -hmm. if you check um, Bongo Wato, when they had youth black faith, Mm -hmm. Rupert faith was based on bullying the Bible, you know. Mm -hmm. And Selassie I was God, you know, and black man was God, you know. Mm -hmm. And then they got very, because of money and because of trying to assimilate and making Rastafari portable to the status quo, the ruling class, they reverted to a more Christianized version of mm. Where Selassie was God and they were just sinners and servants just like parallel to the jesus thing right 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 mm -hmm. but if you check out the youth black fiat when it first all of them were saying the same thing like prince emmanuel mm -hmm. but prince emmanuel stuck to it and got successful with it so a lot of the animosity broke because of that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he stuck to the original plan of replacing the white man god and he even instructed us, don't take the Bible into Africa. Dash it where? Yes, sir. And write your own book. Mm -hmm. Come on. I, I mean, you know, <laughs> I had to go to go see him because this is the only black man in Jamaica was other than Muta Baruka, but Muta Baruka is more like an entertainer and a, and a public um, you know, commentator. Mm -hmm. But he's the only spiritual leader within Rastafari, I was talking like Dr. Clark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and that was the problem that I had with the conscious movement in Harlem was that it was a very pan-African movement, but it, 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 it lost the people because it didn't have the spiritual component. Yes, I. Mm -hmm. No ground. But I used to tell them, yeah, I used to tell them, yo, let's bring Dr. Clark and have him as our, as our pastor. Mm -hmm. Do a Sunday service mm -hmm. with choir and everything. Rewrite all the songs. A lot of people's talking that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people started talking that. Because what happened, the same people that came on Saturday at Dempsey Hall to listen to Clark and James Small and all, all those elders and all those great philosophers, they'll go right back to the past on Sunday yeah. to get that spiritual energy. Yeah, they With needed the singing it. singing and the clapping. Even if it was wrong, they needed it. They needed that. Yeah. But just coming there, sitting down there, no music, you know, no, 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 theatrics, spiritual that ain't theatrics. Us. That ain't and us. just listening to a lecture. Yeah. That's why I love Clark, because Clark used to lecture like a, like a, a Sunday a, a, a Sunday preacher boy, a mm -hmm. Sunday Baptist preacher. Mm -hmm. You you felt, you know what I mean? He had that thing about him. Ben was like that too. But Clark was that Southern Baptist preacher. Mm -hmm. But he was lecturing on Pan-Africanism and African spirituality. Mm -hmm. I always saw him very, uh, like, like you know, like, like a, a Prince Emmanuel type individual, you know. I love Clark for that. Mm -hmm. You know, but going back to the Bakongo people in Dalvi, St. Thomas, they are the people that led a lot of the revolutions in in, in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Because if even if you go back to a place where I have some family in near Dalvey called Duckinsfield, you still have the same slave plantation houses there. Mm -hmm. Just like it was back in the 18 and 1700s. Mm -hmm. And how the Bakongo people live. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And they're the ones who spread the Kumina. Mm. You know, all across the island, but it became our the parish where I come from became the the the, the capital or the um the the the, the, the foundation of the communal culture, the heart of the communal culture, mm -hmm. and, and and because of that, a lot of people fear us. You know what I mean? A lot of people, a lot of people fear us because of that. Mm -hmm. Because of, you know, the Christian concept that they have about all things Africa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the fact that because of the, 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 the laws that the white man put down, you could only, you could only um, celebrate a kumina ceremony. You only could do a kumina ceremony during the death of someone. So it, become, it became like a death ceremony. Right. Just like transform, change. Perverted. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Mm. You know, we started a quant. It's when we had the St. Thomas Quant Association, which I was part of, and I, I, I um, I helped establish in St. Thomas with a lot of brothers like w- brother Waggy and uh, brother Kofi and and uh, Aronde. Matter of fact, they have a farm up at a place called Rockbrook, like an African village right now in Rockbrook, St. Thomas, um, where they grow, you know, they grow honey, they grow, they, they, they have um, coconuts, where they have coconut cream, where they come down to the to Marin Bay and Kingston to sell. And these are people that were college professors. These are people that were nurses and they all just left America. And you there? Yeah, I'm right here. Yeah, okay. And they all left America and started the African village up there. Uh-huh. You know, and um, with that, you know, we, we started to use the kumina now for what you would call christenings, for naming ceremonies, mm-hmm. weddings. Mm-hmm. So the kumina became part of the whole Kwanzaa celebration, and uh-huh. we started introducing it to them, you know. Well, yeah, one of my cousins, he's like the most, one of the most famous Kumina players, Cha Cha Ben. He's from my uh, I was just watching a video of Cha Cha Ben on YouTube the other day. Mm. That's my cousin. Okay. Raised with him. Okay. He probably put di- put diapers on me when I was a kid. Uh, wow. You know, yeah, yeah. We're all raised in the same village. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. And another one, I just left Jafet. He's kind of blind right now. But Jafet is, a, is another elder, great Kumana player. Mm. You know, he's from our village also. You know what I mean? And he, the Kumana protected the village. Mm. Because I remember you, I would, like, during the politics time, during the 80s, you, when I used to visit, you see, like, you know, because, how would you call it? You know, each politician have their little gang. And they would come through the village. And when they came through the village, my lord, they would be fearful. It's like they just wanted to move through. You know, they would never, re- you never really harm us. Mm-hmm. You, you know what I mean? Vibes too strong. Vibes too strong. Mm-hmm. You, they, if they were, the, the first killing we had in our village was by someone in the village. Mm-hmm. And it was a policeman mm-hmm. that was raised amongst us, and he, you know, he they, he did that. That was the first killing that we had. Mm-hmm. It was never from someone outside. See, you know, it wasn't from someone outside, and you know, they had to do with a whole bunch of stuff with that 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 you know, that if you were walking on the straight and narrow, you wouldn't have got killed for. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's not to justify it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But, you know, you see something on the beach from Colombia, you leave it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let whoever's supposed to go pick that up on that pick beach. Pick that package up by themselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't pick it up. You leave that thing alone. So, you, yeah. you know, them boys got hunted. And I was one. And he and we're all family, you know. But I was just trying to show you that even the dudes that wanted him dead, they were scared to kill the, kill the brother. Uh-huh. Got to get someone from inside the village. Mm-hmm. So look, you know, I have uh, this this Zoom uh, thing is telling me now I got five minutes. So I would, instead of getting cut off, what I want to do is um, you gave me so much information. This has been such a good interview. I really, you know, appreciate love the time and you know the information has been really valuable. But I want to do another one. You know, when you get time, I want to up upgrade to pro version and that way yeah. you know we're not going to be limited so i'll link you you soon and let you know yeah the main thing i want to leave with is that african spirituality is not limited to just one form of culture it's gifts it's like i bring chocolate to my wife you bring roses it's the same love yes yeah, yeah, yeah and that's what we have to get back to but because of the white supremacy who wants that slave mentality, they want control. Mm. So they just have one type ceremony. One Anything else is wrong. Mm-hmm. That's what we adopted from the white man who, who's a control freak. Mm-hmm. 
But as long as you're not sacrificing animals or human beings or nothing like that, as long as it's it's humane, whatever culture you praise God in, mm -hmm. it's all good. Mm -hmm. That's why I tell them brothers that you don't need to turban up these 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 white boys from South America. They got their own culture. The praise job. They can learn from us, but let them adapt that to their own culture. Yeah, it's own vine and fig tree. Yeah. So, you know, mm -hmm. reasoning continue, you know? True, God. My Lord. Give thanks, King. Really appreciate Blessed it. Blessed love, my yeah. Lord. My Lord. Harder yeah. down setting. We're going to talk soon. Arthur, Arthur Jai. Blessed. Selassie I. Rastafari. Holy Manuel I. Ja. Rastafari. Rastafari. My Lord. Bless it. My Lord. My Lord. Bless it. Bless. Love, love. Love, love.